Good afternoon, good afternoon, we are Man Cave Talk with Travis Edwards. Today my guest is Brian. He had a new product called the Pocket USA to actually help us not be hurt by when it comes to our car. Now, um, now the first thing I'm going to talk about is all police are not bad. Just, it, it's just, it's, not, it's like all, all of us are not bad. There are some good and bad in us. Can you just, um, can you discuss that topic? Of right. course, of course. Well, and, and we know that Travis. We know all police officers are not bad, man. But we know, well, what we've seen, what we've seen, it's a handful that just don't do it the right way. And, and the ones that don't do it the right way, the ones that is doing it the right way and trying to do it and try to do it the right way, it's hurting them because we never know what police officer is going to approach our vehicle. So we always on guard, just like the police is always on guard. But you got that one or two very few that goes overboard and do more than what they have to do. So that's making the bag for the ones who's doing it right and trying to do it right. You know, uh, you know, I say it's just like us black folks. Some of us black folks rob, steal, and kill, and and and, and the opinion of some people is that all black people are bad. You know, it's just like the the, the, the white man. The white man has done things to us that. That's not right, but they are not all bad. Exactly. There's good and bad in every race. There's good and bad in every of our lives. There's good and bad judges, good and bad lawyers. But if we but but if we go into it with that with that negative thought, we will never ever see the positive. That person may be somebody who can help us out. We may be missing our blessings. Exactly. To that person, that God may be, that God may be in our way. Yeah. So, um, so the first point is all police are not bad. Some police get into the occupation to act to to actually protect and serve us. Some of them get into all forgotten. Some some people get into police work to to make the world to make the world a better place. One hundred percent. So um so that's the first point. All police. And and I and I would like to elaborate on. And so when we do when we do come across them encounters with good police officers, we need to praise them, right? We need to go to their precinct and give them a compliment. Because that's I'm pretty sure it's a lot of them. That's all you hear is bad policing and complaints. But but when we go and we have them good encounters with police officers, we need to go and give them praise and give them compliments. Like Robin Williams out of Houston, Texas, sees a police officer in a Fort Bend County, Officer Stackhouse. He's a police officer in Iowa Colony. Like those are two police officers that I had great encounters with. Right. So when we do come across the good ones, we need to praise them and give them com uh, compliments to their chief and to their precinct. You know, it's almost like, yeah, I'm a, it's almost like, I'm like a child. If you tell that child that he ain't going to nothing all his life, then the child is stupid. He, he or she is not going to, he or she is not going to try to be good. We have to give them positive too. Exactly. Exactly. Because too much negative, too much negative intake gonna bring out negative results because that's all they've been taught and that's all they know. So when you when your child, it's just like when your child doing great in school, making straight A's, what you do? You want to give them a gift. You want to give them positive reinforcement. So that's what you do. But when they when they do bad and act bad, you you can't punish them all the time, right? We gotta we gotta switch that cycle, man. We got to we gotta switch that cycle. Yeah, that's right, man, because it's important. 
Very. And we, and we got to teach our kids at a young age that policemen are there to help you out. Because I know some black parents who who tell their kids that that don't that the police are out to get you. It's the message that we send to our kids. They tell them police officers are out to get you. Don't talk to police. You come to me. Don't tell the police nothing. Don't tell them where you live. I get it. And I understand it. But a lot of that is from what they saw, right? Or or from what happened to somebody else that they know. But you can't hold every police officer to that same standard because all of them different. And and we do know there are are great police officers who do it the right way. Like I just said, we we just got to praise those and compliment those who do it the right way. Yeah, and we forget that police are people too. They got families and 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 think it's and, and, and think on their lives. They may have a family member who's sick in the hospital. We you never know. Exactly. A child who's sick. They may be going through problems at home. They may be going through mental issues. But 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 if we don't see them, if we if we don't see that, we don't know it. So we have to take so we have to take that into our thought process too when we meet police. Yes. Because they because 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 they could because, because they could be going through a lot of stuff in life. Yeah, yeah, we're in some tough times right now, Travis, man. We we're in tough times, man. We don't know who to trust. We don't even know how to communicate without without a negative energy. So we, we got to figure it out, man. We got to figure it out. And that's why I'm here, man, to, to try to help us figure it out with a product that I created. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I know sometimes us men, we feel like we got to protect everything. We feel like we got to be hard. We feel like we got to be the one to step in when things go wrong. So how can us men approach a police officer with respect and still and one say, and, and and still keep our demeanor, our manly ways, in your opinion? You, you just approach them like you want to be approached with respect, right? So you want to give out that energy that you want to receive. So even just speaking, just saying hello, because just like you say, we, we don't know the mental state of that police officer when he woke up this morning or what happened to him 30 minutes ago. But just having that respect towards a police officer, a human being, period. Take the police officer suit off. Just a human being, period. Because once they take that badge off, they're just a human being. And if you speak to them with, with respect, just like you want it, man, it's communication. Once we get back to communicating with respect, I think everything will be be better than what it is, man. So that's what I want to do. I, I want to I want to try to get that message out, man. Just open communication and being respectful to one another, man, can make a big difference. Yeah, you know what? This crosses line of every aspect of our lives. We will only communicate and not assume. I always say this. Open a book before you decide what's in it. Because the cover may look tattered. But when it's on the inside of a book, it may be something great. It may be something that can change our lives. 100%. Yeah, so, um, so the book of police also, it may look rough and tough and, and stricken. And, uh, on the outside, on the inside, they may be caring, they may be uh, compassionate, but we don't know. We have no idea 
until we open the book and read it from the line. 100% man, I agree with you. Yeah, and um, and your product is called the Pocket USA. Yes. Tell us what that what that product is made to do and tell us how it works. So, a uh, a back a little backstory on it. So, the Pocket USA was created to make a traffic stop safer for you and your family as well as the police, right? So let's just say you're getting pulled over by the police. You will already have your license and insurance in this product. So all you will do is roll your window down and attach this to the outside of your vehicle. So as the police officer is walking up, he will see both hands visible on the wheel and he will have everything he needs on the outside of your vehicle. So now he can be in a comfortable state of mind and you can feel a whole lot safer knowing you don't have to move or reach for anything. So he can go through a seven, seven point question and see your who, why, when, and why, where you going, how, and everything he needs to ask you. So all he would have to do is take this product off your door, take it to his vehicle, run your license. Now, if he was to give you a ticket or a warning, he can place it right back in his pocket attach it right back on your door, you drive away, he walks away. So this product just did a couple of things for us. It controlled the situation, it protected your inner peace, it kept negativity out of your vehicle, and it helped with social distancing. So all I'm trying to do is make sure the way that we enter traffic stops is the way we need to leave traffic stops. So that's why I created the Pocket USA, just to bridge the gap, man. I, I, I want to be the change that I want to see, Travis, right? And instead of keep complaining about the problem, I came up with a solution. And all it takes for us to support it. If we all support it, it cannot be denied. That's right. And, And um, and I know we all got we got got our own issues, got our own issues going on our lives, but we must be understanding, not on to police, but to others. Exactly. Because they can be going through a hard time in their life, and our word, smile, kind word, or whatever we do, it can change their lives. Think about it. That 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 that. Think about it. That police man or woman, they have, they have been harassed. They have had to chase my down. And our kind encounter, it just may cause them to actually have a, actually have a, actually have a, actually have a better day. So, so we got to be understanding. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and just to elaborate on that, Travis, just like we just said a couple of minutes ago, like we never know how the police officer woke up this morning or what he got going on in his life, just like he never know what we got going on in, in our life. But with this product, with the Pocket USA on the outside of your vehicle with everything they need in it is your license and insurance. Right. So now it's less back and forth, because if you are having a bad day, it ain't too much. You want to say to nobody, not only police officers, it can be people in your family. You, don't, you just want to be alone. But if you get pulled over, they will have everything they need on the outside of your vehicle. So there won't be no negative back and forth going back and forth with a police officer. Right. So just check it out, man. Check out the pocket USA just to make a traffic stop safer for you and your family, because we don't know what police officer is walking up on us just like they don't know who's walking up, who they walking up to, right? So so it works hand in hand, man. We, we, we just, we got to work together. We got to figure it out and work together. And the Pocket USA is here to help. You know, it's like back in the day, they had policemen who walked neighborhoods. They knew you and you know them they say hey man hey man jenkins 
I mean, they say, hey, how you doing? Back in the day, the police and, 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 and people, they were connected. We lost that connectivity in today's time. 100%. 100%. Especially with COVID now. You know, I want to say, you, um, you, um, you know, people are so afraid to come and contact people. Where I used to live at, I, 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 I just came in. They made me like, like I, I, I said, how you doing? I said, give me your six feet. I yeah. just spoke to you. Yeah. We cannot let this COVID or Movic or whatever it is make us lose our connectivity with people. We can't do it. Because we need because because the fact is that we actually need each other. We are made to be social people. We're made to be social people. We cannot let this that's going on into in today's world. Keep us from getting more people. That's the reason people are lonely. That's the reason we got people um, shooting up everybody. Because the issue is that we have lost our connectivity to people. Exactly. 100%, man. And, and that's what I mean about just communicating with one another. See, I don't know if we was getting to that place where everybody was coming together to do something together to to try to bridge the gap. But when COVID came, like you say, everybody, now, now we separated because we don't know who got what or who going to give me this or who I'm going to take this home to or who bringing it in my house. So, yeah, that COVID helped, that COVID helped us as a people, period, man. Like, now, now it's just like you say, get away from me, stay six feet. We, we, we used to, we used to give dap and give hugs. Are we going to ever get back to that? That's going to be the next question. Or, 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 or now is it just six, six feet distance for the rest of our lives? Man, keep a mask on. Only time will tell, Travis. Yeah. But one thing we can do is we can communicate with each other. We can, we can speak kind of people. All it takes is a little, little kindness. Exactly. The kindness in this world can go a long way. Exactly. Or even just speaking, Travis, just saying hello. How you doing today, man? And, and it ain't got to be a long conversation. Man, you passing by each other. What's up, man? How you doing? That simple. That simple, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And um, and as and, and, that, and as I said, I would count word to that police man or woman could change their whole outlook on that day. Exactly. It could make when I say it could make the next stop that that they make be more eventful. One hundred percent. They would say, "I at least thought one person who didn't fuss at me, or who didn't draw a gun at me, or who was nice to me, they could at least say that." One hundred percent, man. I agree. One hundred percent. I mean, because we know it's a problem. We see it. Like, like, and that's another thing COVID did. COVID opened our eyes to a lot of stuff. We had to sit down and watch this, right? So now we we got to try to change this, man. Just like they watched the bad, now let's let them watch the good, right? So it's like if you have an argument in front of your kids with your spouse. Okay, they saw you argue, but let them see how you make up as well, right? You don't always want to show them the bad. Show them the positive as well so they can know how to handle a bad situation when they get into it. And that's all I'm trying to do, man. I want the world to see what I'm trying to do to make a difference and not just complain about a problem. Came up with a solution. So that's what I want to do, Travis, man. I, I want to I wanna bridge this gap, man. That's my goal. And that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing, man. Because, you 
know it's time for us to come together as one people not as white not as koreans not as asians to come together as one people and change the world 100 percent it's time 100 percent. it's been time it's been time and, and one more thing we need to start voting and voting for her for people who got our our vision in their heart as well right because we can't sit back and complain and not vote because we part of the problem by not voting right so we can't complain about certain mayors and and um presidents and we not and we not and, and, and i'll tell you another one um what i'm looking for you know when, when they go to court uh, on jurors on jury we got we got to be a part of the juror selection as well right we got to be a part of all this that we complaining about that's how we make a difference that's how we make a difference by being a part of it so we gotta we gotta be a part of the jury selection the mayors the governors your your local superintendent at your school like it's it's real simple we just got to get involved and stop city complaining city council city council city, exactly exactly yeah yeah and, and and this program i believe that all the problems will be going away if, if us men get in line if we get in line the woman the child everything will be all right if us men would just get on track we act right be leaders that's right be leaders and not followers it's time for us men to step up and take our rightful place it's time 100 percent it's time out for us just sitting back saying he gonna do it or they gonna do it why not us exactly why not us yeah man so tell me the, um so how have the police and 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 and, and, and um and other officials responded to your product so i'll tell you this travis it's kind of crazy so within about a year and a half now at the beginning at the beginning i couldn't get a police a police chief a city council or city mayor to even listen or, or even respond to me but now i've been putting in the work i've been grinding man now they're reaching out to me now right i got police officers reaching out to me if you go on any one of my social media links you will see police officers talking about this product right so now i got i got police chiefs reaching out to me in my email now trying to purchase these by the bulk to pass them out during the traffic stop i got mayors reaching out to me now trying to buy these in bulk to pass out to high school students that's graduating with vehicles so now the shift has came because i stay focused i stay committed to what i'm trying to do to make this world a better place so i didn't want i don't know if you have kids or not Travis, but i don't want your great grandchild to even know anything about police brutality right I, I can't wait to get that phone call from a city mayor or a governor saying man with your product police brutality dropped 75 percent that's a win for me that's a win for us right that's a win man and that's that's why i'm gonna keep pushing this i'm gonna keep pushing this product man and my i turn my pain into passion and now i'm starting to see a little bit of the fruits of the labor that i've been pushing because all of them knows eventually you're gonna you're gonna get some yeses right so now i'm getting a lot of yeses now all the no's is going out the door now i'm getting yeses a toyota dealership picked up this product driver's ass schools picked up this product two row vehicle rental cars picked up this product because it's necessary it is necessary, man. And that goes along with the theme of my movement called the Don't Give Up Movement. 
One hundred percent. You didn't give up. You kept pushing, striving, even though it told you no. You said, "I'm gonna keep pushing because this product can help someone else out." You didn't let the obstacles that you face stop you from the goal that you had. That's a lesson to all of us. Like you said, you can drink it like a glass of nose, but somebody gonna say yes. That's it. Somebody gonna say yes to you. You know, look, 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 look at Michael Jordan. He was cut from his first team in, in, in high school. But we call him the greatest. That's what I play. All because he still he, he kept he kept practicing he kept he kept driving. Thomas Edison in school, he was labeled as not smart. But without him, we would not have a light bulb. Exactly. What I'm trying to say is that we all have a gift, and if we give up, we just may miss out on giving that gift to the world exactly exactly travis like we all got opportunities in this world don't sit there and let that opportunity pass you up or don't sit there and let somebody else take your opportunity go get it go get that opportunity when it presents itself man i don't care how long it takes long as you moving forward it can take you five to ten years but within them three to four years, as long as you steady moving forward to the top of the mountain, you win it, you gain it. And that's the goal. That's the goal to keep moving forward. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's right, man. Because, you know, if I will let the strokes that I had at 11 stop me, from 11 to 13, I had seven strokes. Mm. Go up in the hospital, couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't do nothing. The doctor, the, the, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor said he's not going to walk, and they said, I want to tell you. But good God from Zion, on walking today and on semi smaller. You see, I did not listen to what they said. You see, I say labels long on jars, not on us. Exactly. We don't have to accept the label that. That 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 up that that ups put on us. Just like you didn't accept the label that we that we had to give that that we had to be harassed by our police. You found a solution. There's a solution out there for all of us if we were on the ground and find it and look for it and seek it. One hundred percent, Travis. One hundred percent. I agree, man. I agree. We just can't give up. I don't care what it is. You just can't give up, man. And 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 that's my message. And and, and I. It's gonna be tough, right? It's gonna be tough. But anything that's worth it, it's supposed to be tough to see how much you want it, man. You're gonna only get as much as you can handle. I promise you that. That's all you're gonna get is what you can handle. Man, fight through it because on the other side of that is success. On the other side of that fear because you're afraid of the nose, it's success. You just got to go through it. You got to go through it and learn from it. You got to. Yeah, man, you know, it's almost like we're coming through a tunnel. And you know, at, at the, and you know there's, a light at, there's a light in that tunnel. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we stop in that tunnel, we will never reach the light. We can't let obstacles, troubles, trials, typhoons, hurricanes, iron cord that stop us from, 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 from achieving our goals. We can't do it. 100%. And I am so glad that you did not let that no from beginning to stop you. Look at you. Now you're getting, now they're coming to you. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Ask me for the product, for the product, for the, for the, for the product. When before you couldn't, you couldn't pay them to, to um to actually use it. 
Man, I tell you something, man. If we would just keep striving. That's keep it. Pushing, we'll make it through hell and high water. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. And thank you for making products to have us safe. I want to thank you for that, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you for allowing me to be on your platform to even, to even talk about it, man. It, it means a lot, man, just to just to be able to talk about about the product, man, and you allow me to do that. Thank you for that, Travis, man. It means a lot to me, brother. I'm all about bringing others up with me. If I come up by myself, it's no fun. But if I have Jim, Jimmy, Jody, Jack, we can we, we we can discuss we 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 can discuss how it was coming up. My mama said, "No man's an island." What they're saying is, we don't get nowhere by ourselves. Somebody, somewhere, made it possible for us to get that point. One hundred percent, man. Somebody somewhere encouraged us. Somebody somewhere talk to somebody behind our back. Say, take a look at um on the, um somebody said somebody said that somebody said there's this product there that, that, that called, called the Pocket USA, and um and you know what and, and you know what it can it, it can save us time. Somebody, somebody out there. Saw your product and said, this is a great product. Y'all ought to think about using it. We didn't come by ourselves. I know we want to think that, but it's not true. That's it. 100%, man. I agree. I agree. And, and, and that's the reason, like you say, you, you don't want to win by yourself. And I and I do and I would it get lonely at the top. It get lonely at the top, man. One hundred percent. I agree with you, man. So that's that's another thing. I, I want to always make sure I'm going to help the next person. And, and when I say help the next person, I mean helping them without trying to charge them for anything. If there's any knowledge I can give back, I give back. I've been on speaking engagements, Travis. Like. I was never a speaker. Like I was never the type of person who spoke in the crowd, period. But now when I'm pushing this mission, man, the good Lord gave me the courage and the strength to do it because he gave me the courage and the strength and the idea to make up this product, to create this product. So now he's giving me the courage and the strength to speak to hundreds of people at one time. So I appreciate that, man. I give all my blessings to the good Lord. That's what I feel too, man, because, you know, I used to stutter worse than this. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, everywhere it came out mouth was a stutter. But now I can speak without stuttering sometimes. I learned how to control my mind. I was not a speaker either. I won, but, but, but I've spoken at several conferences. And it amazes me how that how god used me mm. to speak this person who the doctor said was done for me. and and i and i'm not sure what you've been told but maybe you were told the same thing but look at you now yep look at you now the God's power and anointing and grace. You are the you are the strong man that God made you to be. Whew, I tell you something. Hey, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to talk about it, Travis. And I'm not afraid to acknowledge him. Because I know without him, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, right? So I'm not afraid, man. And like I say, he gave, he's given me and gave me the idea 
It's gave me the courage because I, man, when I say shy, like, like you couldn't pay me to talk in front of nobody, man. Like, shy, shy, ugh, man, I, I, I couldn't do it. Being on this, on this call with you, like, I would have made up. I would have made up a hundred excuses of why I couldn't be on this call because I was I was nervous and speaking and talking to people that I don't know. Like, but now I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with it, man. So hey man, I give my blessings to him. Yeah, and um and it's called the Pocket USA. It, on Instagram and Facebook, you go on and say, um you, you you can message Brian on 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 the on on, on those two platforms. Brian, they have a website, Brian. The website is thepocketusa.com, and it's the Pocket USA on all social media links. Whatever social media you own, it's the Pocket USA. Yeah, you can shoot me a message if you got any questions about anything about the product. And I tell you what, until December thirty first, until December thirty first, it's free shipping. So. Get in on it before December thirty first, man. Save you eight to ten dollars. Save you eight to ten dollars on the product, and the product is only nineteen ninety nine. Only nineteen ninety nine with free shipping. It's the PocketUSA dot com. I'm put right now. All right. I'm put right now. There you go. There it is. Pocketusa.com. That's it. That's the website. You can go to to, to purchase this, this 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 invention that came from the mind of a man that God inspired him to do. That's it, Travis. And I, and our point was, all police aren't bad. And and when I say and we have to understand the understanding, and we talk about police are people too. Mm-hmm. We, forget that. we forget that we forget that we see that badge. We we, we, we we hear that siren, and our mind goes to thinking, "Oh no, here they come again." Yep. But we have to remember, there are people too. They go through things just like we go through things. They got families, issues, and issues going on lives. And just think, our kind word to them could change their lives. Could make them a better police woman or, 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 or a better police man. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about police and the man. And I say, we don't say the man because I feel if the man gets in right position. Everything will fall in line in this world. If the man takes his rightful place, this world will fall in line. That's why it's called man cave talk. Where where us men get together, we discuss issues that's on our lives. Because you know when a police come up to our car, and our family is in there. We want to protect them, right? Yep. We want to protect our families from, from anybody. Police or robbers or anybody who attack our family, we're going to be on defense. So if our families see us being respectful to the police, then we want to say, then, then when our kids start driving, when our wife is driving, They'll be respectful to police too. Exactly. That's why I say if the man gets in line, if the man gets in line, everything will be all right. Brian, any last words to our to our audience? To our audience? Yeah, I, I just want to say once again, Travis, I appreciate you for allowing me to speak on your platform. And all I want to do is make sure the way that we enter a traffic stop is the way we need to leave a traffic stop. Like in this in this America, we 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 fighting too many battles. We fighting too many battles, and I'm just trying to eliminate one of them. And that's police brutality during the traffic stop. I just want to make a traffic stop safer for you and your family. 
Check out the pocketusa.com. The product is only $19.99 with free shipping until December 31st. January 1st, 2022, shipping will be added. So save you $8 to $10 on your shipping. Purchase the product for your loved ones just so we can make this world a safer place for us all. My first sponsor is the mission of intervention ministry is to support and encourage the participation of people who are blind and people in power into a community where an individual is encouraged to utilize their God granted gifts and talents as they journey to this wholeness. And the email address is IVAwakening at gmail.com. Their phone number is 678-718-7063. My next sponsor is Simtech. We provide tires for cars, tractors, cars, motorcycles in the state. This is the last one, y'all, inside my boys, okay? And Lisa Parks, director of the Ambulance Con Group. Search social, search social content local. The website is www.amicongroup.com. And she got two phone numbers. The phone number is 678 7868795424 uh, I thank my sponsors, and um, and if you want to hear this again, you can go to <laughs> www. Don't give up with that not that that net. Now this is the one stop shop. You can see the video, video. Podcast has blogs on it, has everything to keep it, has everything to encourage us to keep pushing in life. And also, the podcast, you can go to the website www.podpage.com backslash don't dash don't give dash up dash out. Brian for, for, for being my guest on this. Hey, I appreciate you for having me, Travis. Yeah, man, and, and keep on striving, keep pushing. Don't give for up. Sure. Don't give up. I, I, the, 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 don't give up, man. Just keep striving and keep pushing because you're going to make it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the kind words. Don't make it, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. This is a this is a great product that you got going. It's going to speak for yourself. The Bible says your gift make room for you. So um, so this product is going to make room for you. Appreciate it. Great day. And don't give up on your dreams, hopes, and visions. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. And we out. <laughs>